I am Ian Hunter from Belfast Cookery School and Warren Seafood and this is our instructional video for our wonderful Valentine's meal for two. We've kept this really really easy guys, minimal cooking okay so less time cooking more time loving it is Valentine's okay. Okay with that cheese out of the way we're going to begin with the starter. I'll talk you through the ingredients first. So in our little foil tray marked BB, okay, for bonbons, we have two beautiful Walter Young's smoked salmon bonbons. So bonbons, a bit of a chefy name for fritters, okay? It's essentially like a lovely little smoked salmon fish cake. We have our remoulade, which is a celery act remoulade, okay? So it's like a little coleslaw bound with capers, creme fraiche, just to keep the calories down. We have horseradish in here with a little bit of mustard, some fresh fish herbs, really zingy. Just a fresh lemon and a little dressing made from fish herbs. Now, fish herbs, um, nothing fishy in it at all, so it's just what chefs call, it's a mixture of tarragon, and dill and chervil, okay? Your classic herbs served with fish. So again, really super easy guys. So the first thing is preheat your oven to 180 your little tray with your bonbons into the oven at 180 degrees, just in the middle of the oven. Okay, for 15 to 20 minutes. We're gonna check it after 15 minutes. Okay guys, so that's 15 minutes at 180. Let's just check them. And I will show you a little tip for checking and making sure it's warm on the inside. Get a little fork or spoon, just slip underneath. Now it will be hot. Lift out. Now, Get a long thin knife, just pierce it through, make sure you go to the center, okay? Hold it for three, four seconds, and just quickly touch the end. If it's warm, that's it ready. So this is nice and warm. So that was it. dead on 15 minutes at 180. Just let it rest for a little minute, and while it's resting, we shall plate up the rest. Our beautiful remoulade. So, get a little fork, slip it into the middle, okay? And just twist. And you'll get a nice little twist onto the center of your plate and just keep doing that and building it up so you're making almost like a little nest for your bonbon again just twist around and see the way that just curves around the fork on again and just for a lovely little bit of presentation and just keep doing that okay guys so this is celeriac remoulade so celery act is like the bulb version of celery. Beautiful earthy flavor. And we've got lots of zingy flavors in here. We've got some lemon, a little bit of mustard and horseradish. My mustard and horseradish goes sensationally well with salmon. Okay, so there we are. Two lovely little stacks, little twists of a remoulade. Two or bonbon. So again, just get a little spoon underneath, carefully lift up. Place on top. Take your lemon, split it in half. Okay, and then just cut your little pith off on the side of the plate. So this just cuts out any little seeds, any little pith onto the side and then we're just going to finish with our little fish herbs we'll give that a good shake and he said it'll probably settle to the bottom give it a little shake pop the lid so again this is packed with flavor guys chervil tarragon and dill pour onto your spoon and then a little over the top of your bonbon round the side now look at that i mean that looks coming out of a top quality restaurant just like you're eating a morning seafood And there we have it guys, 15 minutes. How easy was that for two beautiful starters like that? So we have our zingy celery act remoulade, our smoked salmon bonbons, and a lovely little squeeze of lemon just to finish. Okay, simple, light, easy, luxurious, beautiful smoked salmon in there. And that is your Valentine's starter. Good to go guys. Now, on to the main course. Again, super, super simple. So, 
quick run through the ingredients. So we have two bags filled of the beautiful fresh sea bass with asparagus, fennel, spinach, and a little bit of lemon caper butter. This little foil, Mark Day, we have our arancini. Now, what arancini are is little risotto cakes. So we have a little risotto in here, packed full of fresh lobster meat. Okay, so a lovely little bit of luxury again. And um, breadcrumbs. We have some fresh basil for garnish. And this beautiful uh, sauce is called sauce vierge, okay? So that is a concasse of fresh tomatoes. Now concasse means peeled, diced. We have some lemon zest in here, toasted fennel seeds, toasted coriander seeds, a little bit of lemon zest, and some beautiful rapeseed oil, okay? So sauce verge translates into virgin sauce. So there might be a few less of those after tonight. Okay, so firstly, the timing. Now, because our arancini are uh, denser than the uh, fish, they go in first, okay? So they go in five minutes before the fish. So we've moved the temperature up a little bit to 190, okay? So these go in, put them on a tray, just like the fish cakes before. And we're gonna set your timer for five minutes. So again, into the center of the oven. And wait for five minutes before we put the fish in. So you have a bag each onto your tray. And we're gonna pop these in just five minutes after the orange So orange chili's been in the oven for five minutes. Now we go in with the sea bass. So we just pop these in the top part of the oven. Okay, so set your timer now for another 15 minutes. It means the orange will be in for 20 and your fish are in for 15. Okay, so we'll come back to that guys in 15 minutes. Okay guys, so that's exactly 22 minutes. So let's have a little check. Firstly, we'll check the uh, arancini. Now, exactly the same way, guys, we did for the little bonbons, okay? So knife into the center at the thickest part, and you just want the tip of that knife to be nicely worn through. That's it, perfect, okay? So that was exactly 22 minutes, guys, at 190. So, just to the side, and we will check the fish. Just take one of the bags, carefully now, okay, it will be hot. And you can see, you can just see, if the fish has turned nicely white from all angles, that's it ready, okay? So I mean, 15 minutes at 190, that is definitely gonna be ready, guys. Okay, so what I wanna do is just let that rest in the bag for a couple of minutes while we plate the rest up. Again, okay, guys, remember, I have chest fingers, so I feel no heat in them, so please use a cloth. So let them rest there for a couple of minutes while we plate the rest up, okay? So like before, just spoon underneath your arancini onto the plate. And this is a nice classical flavors in this dish and classical food looks amazing on white plates. Or sauce first, just give it a little mix through. Just bring it up from the side into the center, get all that flavors through. And then what I want you to do is just start to spoon that lovely sauce just around the outside and just keep turning your plate. There we go, swap them over. Just usually have a little bit of the sauce just to have a little spoon over the fish at the end. Just before you start cooking your meat, if you lift your sauce first out of the fridge, just an hour beforehand, just to bring it up to room temperature, okay? On to your fish. Now, scissors if you can, guys, all right? Now, just watch for any steam coming out. You don't want a little steam burn. And then down the center. And just fold that out. Now, again, just watch for that steam. Now, what I want you to do just lift that beautiful fish out first. Okay, a little bit of skin comes off, don't you worry about that. That beautiful veg in beneath. There we go. So what we're left with here is some beautiful, so that is steamed and cooked. So we have spinach and fennel, so just on top of your orangini. Okay, now nice, as neat as you possibly can. I just put it aside in case of all this lovely flavor in here from cooking the fish 
that lovely lemon butter just right on top of the orange in it. We have asparagus, it's beautiful tender stem broccoli. Okay, so you're building a little stack. And then on top of that, your beautiful sea bass. Okay, so a nice bit of height on it. And you just repeat the process, guys, for the second one as well. Right again, just, uh, you can smell that fell sensational. Asparagus. Always start with the biggest piece of fish at the bottom, just like you're laying a little foundation, and then just build it up. Okay, so with any little sauce verge you've left, just a little drizzle of that over the top. There we are. And finally, just a little bit of the fresh basil. A few wee sprigs around the bottom. Nice big one on top. Whatever you like, guys. So we've got that wonderful, rich, luxurious lobster arancini at the very bottom, adding a lovely bit of texture to the dish. We have our fresh vegetables, or fell, or spinach, or asparagus, or tender stem broccoli, and that amazing, classic, packed with flavour sauce verge. Beautiful, light, refreshing, incredibly luxurious. What a main course for your Valentine's night, guys, okay? Now, the only problem is, you have to get it to the table looking exactly like that. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, now, after that amazing main course, we're gonna plate up this beautiful dessert to finish off. Okay, so we have our two lovely salted chocolate panna cotta. Now, this is really rich and luxurious but at the same time because it's panna cotta it's nice and light so we have beautiful belgium chocolate here now i'm going to give you a little serving suggestion just to give it that almost like a little restaurant touch a little bit of cocoa powder and just give it a little dust over the top now of course you could grate some chocolate over here guys or mix it up put a little bit of white chocolate but i love this little finish that it gives it. Now, just give your edges a little wipe onto your plate. There we go. Now our beautiful crisp sable biscuits. Nice sable biscuits like a posh shortbread if I can open the box. Go. So a couple each, and that gives it a lovely bit of texture as well. Nice bit of crispness to that beautiful, smooth panna cotta. Now, here we have, I'm going to take a wee look at that beautiful blood orange salsa. Now, the reason I did salsa with this, you could do a compote or you could do a marmalade, but what you're doing is there, you're adding extra sugar that you don't need, plus it'd be really, uh, rich and jammy and the panna cotta is so light you need something nice light and refreshing just to cut through that richness of the chocolate so now look at the color those aren't they sensational bang in season at the minute so just pop those on the top of your panna cotta beautiful okay now chocolate and orange what an amazing combination um, a little bit of cocoa powder or icing sugar works well as well guys on the side of your plate now look at that finish what a great way to finish your meal it's rich luxurious but incredibly light and um, lovely bit of salted belgian chocolate there the freshness of that uh, orange coming through superb what a finish to your meal okay guys i hope you've enjoyed this i'm sure you have i'll catch you in the next video thank you very much